All right, coding fans, here we are at another way to create an array. Um, and so there are all sorts of items that exist already. And so we're going to use this uh, kind of example to create an array of existing characters and have them do stuff, which is pretty neat. So we have our normal lit all coordinates equal world dot all possible coordinates. This allows us to be uh, go on all these spaces that are in this world. Um, and then we have our height here, and it says let height equal coordinate column. So this column is zero, which means it'll place one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So it'll start at one block and then go up seven blocks tall. So it'll kind of go up like stairs. But what the directions say is change the height to be the sum, so we'll add together the column and the row. So the first uh, row will look the same, but this one we will add one to. So instead of this being one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, this will start at two. Then this will start at three, four, five, six, and seven. So this was gonna start at seven, and then eight, nine, 10, 11, and go on up, all right? So that's what we need to do first. So let height equal column. We don't want the column. We want it to be the column space plus, all right, pull down on B, all right? So space single plus coordinate dot row. Okay, and that will get that done for us. So we're gonna have this, this pretty cool pattern here. And then here is for zero through height, we're gonna place a block. So whatever the height is, so the height, whatever the column plus the row is, it's gonna place that many blocks, okay? And then down here, it has this thing that says, if the height is greater than or equal to eight, so starting at eight and less than 10, so eight and nine, in those two heights, we're gonna place blue. If it's greater than nine, so 10, 11, or 12, we're gonna place hopper. And what we're going to do is initialize our array of existing characters and then place those characters um, or have those characters do something after they've been placed. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to say, all right, let characters all right, equal world dot. And then we're going to get something new. And we're right here at existing characters at, uh, is it all coordinates, I think? We'll find out. Or is it at heights? I can't remember. I think it's at all coordinates. All right, so, and then we've got this. So for our item, so for the people, in characters, we're gonna have them do something, right? So we're gonna say people dot, and we're gonna have them do something, like dance like no one's watching. All right, so um, with this, I'll go ahead and run this and kind of explain what this means. Characters is of all the people that can exist in this world. Okay, so that's just that. This is telling the people that are on, the people here are the people that will be on this map. We'll wait for one to pop up. There's one, okay. So this people right here means the blues and the hoppers, okay? These characters means, characters here just means of all the characters that exist in our world, um, that's more of a generic characters. The, this people means these particular ones that are in our array. All right, and there we go. They are dancing like no one is watching. And they'll go column by row. And that's another way to create an array. So I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one. I think this one looks pretty neat with the way that this is arranged. Um, but a pretty cool way to kind of get through some code. All right, see you on the next one.